A community came together tonight to remember a little girl who died too soon. 41 NBC's Sean Franklin was at tonight's emotional candlelight vigil in Forsyth. He jo joins us with more on the ceremony. Sean? Ashley, the vigil for five year old Heaven Woods started with some upbeat music, but quickly turned to a somber tone. Hundreds lined the streets, and the candles lit up the square, giving the night a heavenly touch. Honey, you're in a better place. Heaven. Unfortunately, I'm sorry that you suffered so much and had so much pain, but I'm, I'm so thankful that you're in a better place. Investigators say five-year-old Heaven Woods did suffer and eventually died from what could have been years of child abuse. We're just going to show Heaven that we love her. And Tuesday night, her memory lives on. And Heaven liked to dance, so we're going we're gonna to dance for Heaven. And we're just going to have a really, really nice time. And, and this is our service for heaven. Hundreds gathered in downtown for Scythe to pay respects, including parent Karen Harbuck. I'm a pediatric nurse. I see a lot of um, tragic results. Um, if they don't pass away, it's even actually worse. A lot of times um, they are devastated. Carolyn Freeman represents Fans Against Child Abuse, an organization dedicated to stopping child suffering. So I've been speaking to other mayors and, and cities and, and, and surrounding and, and we're going to step forward and I'm, I'm available. I'm forming task forces and there's going to be city, city hall town meetings. Freeman hosted the event and hopes through the singing and dancing the community will understand child abuse happens every day. So hopefully in her passing she has saved her unborn sibling, and there's going to be one more child that doesn't have to be hit tonight or tomorrow, and there's one less small coffin that will be purchased next month or next year because of heaven. The five-year-old was found unconscious last week inside her home on Brookwood Drive. Autopsy results showed she had several new and old bruises and died of a blow to the stomach.